Hey, good afternoon, uh, Weight Loss Made Easy Solution Group. I uh, hope you guys are having a great uh, Friday so far. Uh, this is uh, Coach Bill, and today, guys, is going to be our normal Friday uh, training day. Uh, what, I, what I'm going to be, what I'll be doing is I'll be picking certain topics, or if you guys have certain topics you guys want me to talk about, uh, message me and I'll talk about those topics. But today, guys, this is a this is a pretty serious issue. It seems like in the last couple of weeks, or even in the last week, I've been getting a lot of info, I've been getting a lot of uh, messages about type two diabetes and uh, people that have been on the uh, medication for quite a few years. Uh, some have even gotten started, are now starting getting into the um, using insulin as so many units a day and uh, uh, they're also doing some research on it themselves and finding out that the side effects from the insulin and the and the medication is pretty horrendous and so and it's true I mean the I mean those of you that have been on uh, a number of uh, are on medication or insulin for your type 2 diabetes you guys really need to look at the side effects uh, over a long period of time but what's happening is it seems like in the last oh, few years, uh, type 2 diabetes has become an epidemic, and uh, not only in the uh, in the adult, but also in the kids. I you know I just had somebody uh, tell me that a 11 year old girl uh, was diagnosed with uh, type 2 di diabetes, and that just that's horrific. I mean that's just way too young, and so. That's why I changed my topic. I was supposed to talk about uh, fasting days and non-fasting days today, but I, because of all the messages I'm seeing and I've been getting and, and the questions that I'm seeing about uh, type 2, I thought I'd better jump on here real quick and uh, give you guys a little idea of uh, actually why, you know, what, what's causing type 2 diabetes in the first place. And guys, you, th you know what? The reason why most of you who are type 2 diabetic and have been on the medication or insulin for a long time, the problem is that your doctor isn't addressing the root cause. That's the problem. Uh, now, what I'm doing here, before I even get started, I want you guys to know I'm not a doctor. I'm not prescribing anything. This is just a, this is an educational training video. I'm giving you the information that's coming right off of science itself. I'm giving you the information that doctors are already doing uh, uh, to reverse type 2 diabetes and uh, getting people off the medication and getting a lot of people off the actual in insulin. And um, a lot of these doctors are realizing that they've been actually diagnosing their, or not diagnosing, but giving their patients the wrong treatments all these years, because it's pretty obvious, if you guys are taking medication for type 2 diabetes, and you've been doing it for a while, for a long, well, how's that working? It's not. It's not working at, at all. And doctors are realizing this, and the ones that have, the, the doctors that are actually care about their patients have found that there is a natural way to reverse type 2 diabetes, diabetes, and it's pretty simple. You guys know that follow me that I have four protocols. I have uh, primal eating, which is ketogenic diet. I have intermittent prolonged fasting. Um, I use a hydrogen-rich water, and of course, exercising. But the three protocols, the three top protocols, all three of these are science back showing how they are, how all three are able to uh, help reverse type 2 diabetes, and it's not from me. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to give you some science research case studies real quick, just so you know that this isn't coming from me. So my program was designed basically by science. And we've been doing this research on all these different uh, medical issues in disease models for the last nine years by changing people's lifestyles. You, you change the way, you change what they eat, the time they, they eat it, and that is going to help the root cause. See, you're not going to reverse your type 2, the, the, 
you're not going to reverse your type 2 di diabetes unless you go after the root cause. If you solve the root cause, then you're going to reverse it. That's a no, it's a no-brainer. Science has been telling us this for years. But the problem is doctors aren't educating themselves in nutrition. And for what reasons, maybe they just don't have time, that you've got these doctors out there that are actually showing their own research on their own patients on how they're reversing type 2 di diabetes. So like I said, it's not coming from me. I'm just, I'm, I'm taking what science is, is teaching me and what these doctors are teaching me and I'm initiating it to my, to my clients. And, the re and, and it works. <laughs> but let's, let's, let's go to the science here real, real quick. Here's a... I'll tell you what, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a Dr. Jason Fong. He is probably the, the father of reversing type 2 diabetes with, uh, with food and intermittent fasting. He has been reversing type 2 diabetes for his patients for the last 10 or 12, 12 years. And we've been, uh, we've been educated through him on different protocols and the science and why it all works. But Dr. Jason Fung actually wrote three books on it. Now, the thing that bothers me is when I'm talking to a person that has type 2 diabetes and has had it for a long time, uh, here you have a doctor who is actually teaching other doctors to change their platform from treating the uh, disease with medication to going back to what nature has, and that's real food. That's the only way it's going to be done. But yet your doctor who is prescribing you all the medication, insulin, isn't telling you that there is a better and safer and healthier way to reverse your type 2 diabetes. Now there's a lot of side effects, guys, that is included when you have type 2 di diabetes. And, and uh, kidney failure is the biggest one, along with a fatty liver. Most of you who have type 2 diabetes, you don't even know you got a fatty liver. Well, that's an issue over a long period of time. You keep, stay, you keep on that medication and that insulin, you research it and you'll see eventually your kidneys can't take it any, any longer. Your kidneys just will not handle it and you'll go on dialysis if you do not uh, change your lifestyle. It's, that's just, I mean, that's our experience. Now, a lot of this information I'm talking about is not only uh, science research, not only what doctors are now teaching other doctors, but it's also our experience over the years of us working with type 2 diabetics also. But there's two, there's Dr. Jason Fung is probably the pioneer of it, who, who's now teaching other doctors. You have another doctor by the name of Dr. Boz that also changed her platform over to uh, food to treat type 2 and type 1 diabetes. And what she has done is she is actually getting on uh, YouTube and spreading the word that way and giving testimonials with her patients and stuff to prove to these uh, other health professionals, doctors, they have no, they can't deny it. You know, I, here's here's some research here for you guys. Okay, okay, here we go. Now this is this this came out of the uh, uh, what they call Google Scholar. It's where a lot of the doctors and stuff go to to check on. They have a question or if they need to know about a certain disease or a, treat, a treatment. So here's one here. Let's see. I think this is the one. Yeah. Okay. Here it is. It's called, uh, it's by the nutrition and metabolism. It was research done by, by them. And the title of the research was a low carbohydrate ketogenic diet to treat type 2 diabetes. Now, this is a real case study, guys. This is not a blog. This is an actual case study on, uh, on, on treating people uh, and finding the actual root cause by changing their lifestyle and changing the type of foods and the timing also. Okay, so this is what the research said. It says, and I took this right out of the research. It says, the low carbohydrate ketogenic diet may be effective for improving the blood sugar and reducing medication in patients with type 2 diabetes. That's right off the top. So they're saying that it's reducing their medication because it's, it's affecting the blood sugar and dropping it down. 
Okay, so they, and what they did was they recruited 28 overweight patients with type 2 di diabetes, and they tested them for uh, 16 weeks. It was a pilot study, which is the best. That's the top, the top, the top one. And so what the conclusion was, what they found, was they found that the, uh, the low carb or the ketogenic diet improved and controlled the patient's type 2 diabetes such that the diabetes medication was discontinued. That's right out of the research. Their medication was discontin discontinued and reduced with most all the patients. So that so what so what there's so what they have here is because the low carb diet a ketogenic diet can effectively lower blood glucose. That like I said, guys, it's not me, it's them. They they are the ones that tested, they're the ones that did the science research. That's just one of them. Here's another one. Remember when I told you guys that one of the biggest side effect about type 2 diabetes is a kidney issues. I mean, your, your kidneys are, are, you're going to get kidney failure is what's going to happen. You're going to get a kidney disease eventually. Um, some of you that are taking metaform or some other kind of medication for it, you might already be, your kidney markers might already be going, going up. Well, that's just a stage of it getting kidney disease, okay? Well, they also found, found out that a low-carb diet or a ketogenic diet for people that actually already have the symptoms of kidney failure, they did a case report on that as well. Uh, and, and it was also done by this research. Uh, it was done by the nutritional and metabolism. And what they did was they took type 2 uh, diabetes patients that had issues with their kidneys, okay? so. Uh, they, they took obese patients with type 2 diabetes whose diet was changed from the recommended high-carb diet. Now, like I said, I'm taking it right out of the research. High-carb diet and high-carb, low-fat type of low-carb. And, and they switched it to a low-carb diet. Showed a significant reduction not only, not only in their blood glucose, but body weight. Improved their glucose, controlled, and reversal of a six-year-long decline of renal function. Improved it. <laughs> so insulin, okay, th now this is, this is for those of you that might be on insulin in your type 2, or you might just, just started it. Insulin treatment in type 2 diabetes usually leads to weight increase, which may cause further injury to the kidneys. You know, this is this is all science, guys. This is this is just ketogenic diet. So this is my first uh, protocol is my ketogenic diet. Okay. So it, here the science is telling us that just by changing your types of foods you're eating, you're going to help reverse not only your type two diabetes, but if you already have symptoms of kidney fa uh, failure, you're going to reverse that too. Now my second protocol that I use is intermittent prolonged fasting. Well, let's see what science has to say about that. Well, here I just, you know, I get, uh, I get uh, new research all the time. I'm always uh, constantly uh, doing continual education on new research on all, all aspects of, of health. And I got this one a few months ago. So this, re this research here was done in 2019. And what it was is long-term effects, uh, of nutritional ketosis for the management of type 2 diabetes. This was a two-year clinical trial, guys. Uh, I'm going to take a sip of my fat coffee. This is my high-calorie day, guys. So I get fat coffee today. So that's what I'm, I'm drinking. This is, this is one, one way I get, I get more fat in my diet on this day when, I need, when I'm going more calories. So this was 2019, and it was done. Uh, it was done. Uh, it was a two-year clinical trial. Studies of studies of or studies on long-term low-carb approaches to treat diabetes. This is the conclusion. This is what I took out of the test. 
long-term beneficial effects on multiple clinical markers of diabetes of, of diabetes at a two-year while utilizing less medication intervention was also affected in the resolution of diabetes and visceral ob obesity. Visceral is visceral fat. That's the bad fat. Okay, so not only did they, did they show in this two-year investigation that intermittent and prolonged fasting improved or reversed type 2 diabetes and, re and lowered the blood sugar, it also helped them to lose the visceral fat, which is one of the root, co root causes why you have type 2 diabetes in the first place. The root cause of the, the root cause of type 2 diabetes, guys, is a hormone. It's an imbalance of, of a hormone, and it's an imbalance of other hormones. This one hormone that's causing your, the, your issues is causing other issues with other hormones that are causing you to become overweight. You've got to get this one hormone in control. This one hormone, once you get this sucker in control then all the other hormones that are causing to be have cravings for sweets and carbs or, or appetite, that all dissipates, okay? But there's only, there's, but they've, I've just explained to you that there's only one way to control it is not by medication or not by insulin, but is by changing your lifestyle, changing the type of food you're eating, combining it with intermittent prolonged fasting. Can you imagine? We have clinical research, we have doctors, that are doing the ketogenic diet and the intermittent fasting. Can you imagine you combine the two? Type 2 diabetes is wiped out, you guys. I said, I'm not a doctor, and I'm, I'm, I'm just, it's, this is not coming from me. You guys got to realize how, how serious type 2 diabetes is, especially if you've had it for a long time. And you got to be, you know, you, you got to be very serious about the side effects of medication. It's there. And why the public or why people who have type 2 diabetes doesn't investigate it themselves and they're relying on a human being or a doctor to give them the advice, well, you're not getting good advice because you still have type 2 diabetes and you're still on medication, okay? They're, the doctors are out there telling people, they're showing their own research, how they're reversing type 2. Dr. Jason Fun. Uh, I, every time I hear him speak or at a w webinar or, or somewhere, every time I hear him, he says, I treated my patients with type 2 diabetes wrong for 20 years. That's what he, he, he admits it. Uh, Dr. Boz, the same thing. I mean, she, her success, I mean, the success rate is unbelievable. You follow the protocol right to the T. No veering off. You got type 2 di 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 diabetes. No veering off until you get it under control. Then you can start uh, introducing some, some of the comfort food. Now, my third protocol is uh, hydrogen-rich rich water. So those of you who have type 2 di uh, di diabetes, if you have a way to get hydrogen-rich water, which is uh, ionized alkaline water, uh, the, uh, and the device that we use comes from Jap uh, Japan, that this is one of the simplest and fastest ways to reverse type 2 diabetes and get your blood sugar down quickly is by hydrating with hydrogen rich water because it's designed to hydrate the, the cell at the cellular level very quickly and it's got a very powerful antioxidant that's designed to also help flush out inflammation which type 2 diabetes is inflammation we all know all diseases is caused by inflammation but you have to drink water anyway, right? And you better be drinking a minimum of 64 uh, ounces a day. And those of you that have a disease or a type 2 di or obese, you need to work up to a gallon a day because you have to detox the body and flush out that in in inflammation. So if you have to drink water anyway to s survive, why not drink water that has the ability to reverse type 2 diabetes? Okay, here I have... Um, Let's see, this is Frontier, who is this? Um, okay, we, okay, this is uh, Frontier Research. Uh, we investigate, this is what they're saying. They're saying, 
We therefore investigating the effects of hydrogen rich water intake on lipid and glucose, which is you know fat and, and uh, sugar or sugar metabolism in patients with uh, type 2 diabetes, <clears throat> or they also call it impaired uh, glucose tolerance. We performed a randomized, this is a, this is a, this is a real test here. When they, whenever they tell you in a case study that they're doing a double-blind placebo control, that is a real test. So I don't care, I, I don't care how many certificates or degrees a doctor has, this cannot be denied because it's a real test. Well, they did this double-blind random uh, control test on 30 patients with type 2 di uh, di diabetes. They gave them an intake of hydrogen-rich water, which then which normalized their glucose tolerance test. In conclusion, these results suggest that supplementation with hydrogen-rich water may have been or has beneficial uh, uh, proof treating type 2 insulin, re is insulin resistant. Type 2, di uh, one of the other, or, or the actual root cause or the actual science name for what you have is insulin resistance. So all those of you out there that has type 2 diabetes, you're insulin resistant, which means you're the, the hormone that's causing you to have it and to gain the weight and to have your blood sugar high is out of control. That's simple as that, guys. The simple fix, I mean, a very simple fix. Com combine the primal eating or the ketogenic diet with intermittent prolonged fasting and drink, your, drink a gallon of, of hydrogen-rich water a day and you're going to be shocked at what you see. I have a couple uh, past clients uh, Tony is, is one, he's been on medication, he's been a di type 2 diabetes now, for, or he was for uh, quite a few years, and the best the medication was able to get his blood sugar at was 164, way too high. Just in a few weeks of him cutting out certain foods, and then getting his body into fat adaptation, and then we could go into intermittent fasting, we got his blood sugar from 160, uh, 164, and we dropped it all the way down to 75 and 84 range. That's where he was. Well, guess what? You want to know what the byproduct of what happens when you bring your blood sugar back down to uh, 84 and 64? The, bob, the, the byproduct is he lost a ton of weight. So those of you that have type 2 diabetes, I don't worry about the weight. I don't care about the weight. My, my issue is to get your glucose, your blood sugar down to normal, to a healthy, uh, healthy range. Because the weight's going to come off anyway. You see what I'm saying? So the next time, now, so those of you that might know somebody that has type 2 diabetes, or if you have it, and you've been uh, dealing with this for a few years now. Well, does, does it make sense to take something, it's a medication or insulin, and it's not treating, it's not reversing it, and you still have it, and you're still dealing with the overweight? Because if you're on insulin, you're going to gain weight. You're not going to lose weight. If you're taking insulin for your type 2 diabetes, you are not going to lose the weight. Because your insulin is way too high. That's what's causing you to gain the weight. Or those of you that are having a hard time losing the weight, if your insulin is too high, you got to look at what you're eating and the time you're eating it. Okay, guys? And so go to your doctor. Ask them, is there another way to treat my type 2 diabetes that actually will go after the root cause? See what he says. You know? If he's educated himself, and he's listened to Dr. Jason Fun and read all his books, or if he's listened to Dr. Boz or all these other doctors, Dr. Seifield, who, who's, who's incredible when it comes to uh, intermittent fasting and uh, ketogenic diet for, for patients who have brain cancer. The research is out there. All, there's research all over the place. <laughs> ask your doctor if he's ever heard of that. And if he says, well, yeah, I said, well, then, then ask him this question. Well, why didn't you tell me? I mean, the medication, I'm still, I mean, I've been a type 2 diabetic for nine years, like, just like one of my past clients. 
He was a, he was a type 2 diabetic for nine years. All of a sudden, his kidney markers are, go, are going up. He's getting toward kidney failure. He was within two or three points from going on dialysis when he came to us. You know what the first thing I did because it was critical? Remember what I said about what's the simplest and fastest way to get to reverse it? It was with water, the right kind of water. That's the first thing I did. I put him on hydrogen-rich rich water, and I told him to drink a gallon every day, and then let's work on the rest. Guess what? No kidney failure, reverse type 2 diabetes, just like science is saying here. You can, I mean, that's how you do it. And now, and he, and he lived a normal life. Now, the next step is, well, if I reverse my type 2 diabetes, does that mean I get to have all, uh, you know, go, go back to eating cakes and candies? No. You know, moderately, yes. Family events, yes. But still stay away. Still, still stay away from all that. It's like cancer. It's the same thing. When you have actually beaten cancer by doing it uh, alternative with real food, cancer is not gone. It's still sitting there in the body. It's, in, it's just in a dormant state. You go back to that to your old lifestyle, it's going to come back. And that's why people get type 2 diabetes back again when they've reversed it, or they get cancer. It comes back worse. Okay, guys? So, guys, um, I hope you guys uh, saw some value in this. This is my training for, uh, for the day. I think you felt uh, I get a little excited, a little, uh, I get a little worked up because it really bothers me that these health professionals and doctors don't talk more about the science behind reversing type 2 diabetes by, doing, by using real foods and by, uh, about the, by the time you know, they don't educate themselves. And we all know the reason for, for, for that because doctors make, they got to make money. They got to pay for their cars and their houses and their trips and whatever. But you know what? They supposedly signed a contract when they first got their license that they're supposed to, it's, the patient should always come first. Well, they're not. If they were, then why aren't they using something that is proven to work naturally with no health uh, with, with no bad health effects or no um, side effects. There's no side effects to this. So guys, uh, if you know somebody that has type 2 diabetes, pass this video along to them or have them come on, have them join Weight Loss Made Easy Solution Group and uh, they can learn more about it. And if you guys have any questions about it, just, just uh, go ahead and uh, give me a message and I'll Try to answer your questions. If I don't know the question, I'll definitely find the question. And I'll get get the answer for you. Okay, guys. So uh, this is uh, I'm real excited about being on here today with you guys. I love doing these Friday trainings. Um, next Friday is going to be on cholesterol because that's another biggie with doc, uh, doctors. Uh, I've I've had I've had a few people uh, message me said, Hey, Bill, my doctor told me I have to get off a ketogenic diet because my cholesterol is too high. I have to chuckle whenever I hear that because doctors have no idea what, what, uh, how to even read a cholesterol panel anyway. And they have no idea how the body uh, uses cholesterol and what, they have no idea what, there's, there's, two separate, there's two types of cholesterol. You got a bad and a good. They don't even know idea what a bad, bad, the bad one is and they don't even know what the root cause. There's a root cause that causes bad cholesterol. Yeah, there's a root cause. You got to ask for a certain test to get to actually get a reading for a bad bad cholesterol. But there's a root cause. What causes cholesterol to go go bad? And that root cause, I've talked about it a dozen, hundreds of times. You guys can think about this, okay? What do you think the root cause is? What causes cholesterol to be bad? Think about that and see if you can. Uh, comment and answer if you guess it, guess it on it. Now, don't feel bad because most health professionals, doctors, they, they don't know either, you know, because you can't learn this stuff in school. They don't teach this in school. You have to learn it. You have to go to special classes or seminars or actually, you have to actually go to the doctor's seminars that are doing the research themselves. That's how you find out about this stuff, okay? So guys, you have a great day. Sorry if I was rampant and raging a, a little bit, but I just want to get the point across. And um, I'll see you guys on the next uh, Friday. I'll probably do a video on t Tuesday. I'll figure something out, but uh, we'll see you guys then. Have a great day. See you guys next time around. Bye.